Uh, Chilla, what do you got? So it's WMC when or the World Mobile Congress is taking place right now as we speak. And Samsung and LG made some announcements on our Sunday. I think it was kind of their Monday. Um, and Microsoft and HP had an interesting announcement. HP announced the Elite X3, which they're touting as a phone that's as powerful as your PC. Hmm. Um, now, what makes this interesting to me is 5.9-inch uh, screen, 20, uh, 2560 by 1440 on uh, Gorilla Glass screen, new uh, new Qualcomm chip. It sounds probably pretty close to what the Samsung Galaxy S7 is packing. Four gig of RAM, 64 gig of storage, expandable via SD to two terabytes. Cat6 LTE, um, which is the next revision of LTE. Eight megapixel front-facing camera, 16 megapixel rear-facing dual SIM slots. Decent battery um, and about 0.43 pounds. Um, the, where, where I think it gets interesting is so then it comes with a dock. The dock has Ethernet, two USB, and what looks to be an HDMI. Um, so you could actually plug this in and use it as a computer. Um, and then they kind of take it to the next step. They have what's called the mobile extender which has no CPU, memory, or storage, but it's a 12 and a half inch display and backlit keyboard with three USB-C ports um, and a micro HDMI port, along with an additional battery that'll, give, that'll last up to three days in standby mode. Wow. So I feel like this is the first foray into, here's your phone, now it's you can kind of use it as a pc right this was being talked about on one of the other podcasts i, I listened to and they, they said the only problem is there's not much that works for this just yet so you're gonna get your full office your full browser okay so this is kind of like when when, when surf rt was a thing and you're like well you got windows and you got x amount of um software with yeah, it, and what's right? in, so when I when I think about the phone, right? I have my apps, and this is where I think their apps running in multi mode. Mm -hmm. So like Facebook, right? I can use it on my store. Slack is a good example. Right. Slack I can use on all the devices. Right. And it's the same executable. Right. So now I fire up Slack on my phone and I dock it, and now it's running full screen, on on a full screen. This isn't something where you get this thing and say. Of course, I'm going to be able to do everything I do on a PC. This is, I can do a boom, boom, boom on my phone. Wouldn't it be great if that was done also as a PC, right? See, I, just, I kind of disagree. I think this is the first step towards that continuum theory where right. anything I can do on my PC, I can do on my phone. So photo, Adobe makes a client. Okay. Now, it's not going to be full-blown Photoshop right Ooh. now. That doesn't mean they can't. Photoshop, Adobe can make a full blown Photoshop that would run cross platform. Mm -hmm. But um, we know they're speedy on these kinds of yeah. things. So, so, so but, I, but I think this is that first. I'm starting to think like, what couldn't you do? Mm -hmm. um, now, maybe for I, I would think for the average user, they could. My mother could do everything that she does. Right. Right. My my Carla could do everything that she does. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't hate yeah. this idea of, of a Windows phone for, you know, somebody like that that only does a few, you know, Internet things with, with something like this. Yeah. And, and, and where I look at it is it's, it's th I think of it as going to work, right? At mm -hmm. work, I don't have anything computer. It's a, it's a business setting. Um, now I could take my phone and take it into work and dock it. And I have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, a browser. I have access to our whole intro web. And